In these next few videos, we're going to look at some of the new features that have been added to Melodyne Editor 2.0 in December 2011. In this video, we're going to look at the new timing tools. There's a new time handle tool and an attack speed tool. Now, the time handle tool is used to accelerate or slow down particular phases of a note's development, and the attack speed tool is used to either stretch or slow down the attack portion of a note or sharpen or make it faster, and all this without affecting the basic timing or the anchor position of the actual note itself. I like to think of these new timing tools as giving us control over the ADSR parameters of actual audio. Now, for those of us familiar with working with synthesizers, we know that we can influence the shape of a note over time by adjusting the attack phase, the decay, the sustain, and the release. Well, this, in effect, gives us the control to do the same thing with live audio, with real audio. Previously, the timing tool, just the single tool up here, this one timing tool allowed us to actually move or change the placement of notes in relation to each other. But now we get access to the two new tools. This one is the time handle tool where we can actually shape different portions within the note. We double click to create a time handle node and then we drag up or down to move or stretch the timing of it in relation to the rest of the note. And similarly with the attack speed tool, we go to this and you'll see a dot at the beginning of each note and we can adjust the attack transient of each note and either sharpen it or make it slower. Let's start with the time handle tool. Now I have a guitar solo here that I've transferred into Melodyne Editor. I'm going to play it for you as is. Right now nothing's been done to it. And before I play it, let me turn on one other nice new little feature. In the view menu, we have highlight playing notes. So now we'll see each blob highlighted as it's played. Okay, so it's a nice solo and it sounds great as is, but let's see how we can tweak it using the timing tool. Now I'm going to play it from within Melodyne Editor alone and we'll see what changes we can make as we're hearing the part in isolation. Okay, this note here, I'm going to double click. Let me zoom a little bit. I'm going to hold down Command and Option. And I'm going to double click here to create a time handle node. You can see it. And I'm going to drag it. I want to get a bit more of that pitch bend in there. Let's listen to that. That's great. Let's try it a little more. So we hear it bend up more slowly. We get a bit more drama from that. Let's continue. All right, here I'm going to do the same thing. We get this nice little scoop down, and I want it to happen earlier to get a bit more of that pitch bend. Let's try that. So we really hear that more emphasized. Maybe a little less. All right, same thing here. I hear a nice little pitch bend. I believe it was this note. Let's double click there. And make it earlier. So we get a nice, more dramatic scoop there. Let's do the same thing here. No, don't like that. Don't like it. So to get rid of a note, I can just double click on it. Or I can go under the edit menu and go reset specific edits, go to time and remove time handles. And that'll obviously affect the notes or the blobs that are selected. Or I can also just call it my contextual menu by holding down the control and option keys and I get that same reset menu from over there. So let's stay with the time handle tool and continue on. All right, that last note has a nice dramatic scoop on it. Let's try and emphasize that. I'm gonna double click there and there we go. It's a little too much. So you see how you can really influence the phrasing of the actual musical performance. Let's listen to this all in context now. That very first note, let's edit that one. I don't think I did that one. There we go. 
Let me unhighlight that so that the display will update and we can see the edits as they're made. So, subtle changes, but we can really influence and tweak a performance. And there's one more note I want to change. I'm going to go back that I heard that I missed as we were going in bar 47. Here. This note here. Let's just listen. Here, this little pitch scoop. So I'm going to double click and drag it. Yeah, so we get more of that nice pitch bend. And you can have multiple time handle events on each note. I can double click there again and create another one. Actually, that defeats what I just did, but the point being that you can have two of them. So that's it. So to summarize, for the time handle tool, you double click to create a time handle event. You can double click to delete one, or you can do it from the menu up here or the contextual menu. And in the next video, we'll look at using the attack speed tool.